Christ offered himself without spot to God, and he satisfied God. If the Lord Jesus was enough to satisfy the infinite heart of God, why is it we're not satisfied with him? Alexander the Great on one occasion was uh, sent a young man from a, a blue blood family and uh, the young man was so profligate that finally Alexander had him called in and he told the young man he was going to have to send him home. And the young man fell on his knees in front of Alexander and he said, Oh, sir, what will I say to my father? And Alexander said, Tell him that Alexander was not to your liking. What will we ever say to our father? When we stand before him at last and he says, Well, he was enough to satisfy my heart. I'm sorry he wasn't to your liking. You see, in the wilderness, the children of Israel loathed that light bread. They had a longing for the food with the built-in memory system, the leeks and the onions and the garlic from Egypt. Like the south, it will rise again. It will remind you of its presence. And if you've been feeding in Egypt, I can smell it on your breath. It's true, isn't it? Every time you open your mouth, that's that. But you've been feeding in the world, you see. And the, and the food of Egypt is highly seasoned. It kills your appetite for a delicate taste. If you've eaten something with onions, uh, well, quite frankly, you just can't discern anything else. It overrules, it, it demands your attention, and, and it cuts out every other influence, every subtle influence. And if you find your pleasure in the world, and when you get together with God's people, it seems pretty bland. If you've been feeding in Egypt, it really leaves you with a, a lack of appreciation for that which comes from heaven. When the Lord Jesus came into the world, he was here to show us what God is like. And if you want to know what God tastes like, you taste the Lord Jesus. Like bread, sweet as honey. He's sweet. He's not a bitter pill that has to be swallowed with a lot of raspberry jam. He's sweet, Christian. And the more time we spend with him, the more we discover how sweet he is. He'll sweeten you. If you're finding life a bit sour, maybe what we need to do is get some of that manna. The hidden manna. The world doesn't know anything about it. The hidden manna. Go ahead, taste it. Taste and see how wonderful he is. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. And have our hearts rejoice in what rejoices the heart of God.